Opposition Nelson Chamisa, the leader of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, showed confidence as he assured thousands of his fans yesterday that he has already started choosing his cabinet and that he will win tomorrow's harmonized elections. At his party's final rally, called Game Over, Chamisa spoke to tens of thousands of supporters at Freedom Plaza. He asked them to stay at polling places within the allotted 300-meter perimeter to prevent electoral fraud. All parties must end their election campaigns two days prior to the vote, under Zimbabwean law. All parties must end their election campaigns two days prior to the vote, under Zimbabwean law. God hasn't forgotten about Zimbabwe, Chamisa remarked. Salutations to Zimbabwe. God's design is infallible. I've already begun planning my cabinet. There is no way we won't win. He continued. Some believe that 2018 will likely repeat itself. No, not now. We are not supported by donors. The public provides the funding for us. We won't stand for ZEX, the Zimbabwean Election Commission, refusal to fix V11S on polling places. The festivities will begin on Thursday. We are finishing up any loose ends on Tuesday. We were able to staff all 12 374 polling locations with polling agents. Chamisa claimed to have informed all of the observer missions about ZANU-PF's nefarious plot to rig the election with ZEP. Guard against stealing, please. Let's remain 300 meters away at the polling places to prevent vote fraud. They are not capable of any rigging that we are not already aware of. We have snuck into their mischief. Everywhere, Chamisa added, we have penetrated the Central Intelligence Organization, the Army, the police. He claimed that President Emerson Ngogwa had gerrymandered the boundaries and forced multiple candidates on the CCC because he was scared of the elections. This morning yesterday, I met with observers, and I informed them on all of these issues, Chamisa stated. The copy of the voter list that will be utilized in the elections is something I have also demanded in a letter to SEC that I sent this morning and yesterday. Chamisa declared that if he prevails, he won't exact revenge on Ngogwa. I won't take away your status as the previous president, my brother Mr. Unengogwa. We are not going to exact revenge. We leave the past in the past. Where you can, please do so. In order to advance our country, we must get together and exchange ideas. Politics is not a factor for those who back ZNPF. Vote now to determine your future. Vote for jobs to improve the economy. After a tight election between Unengogwa and Chamisa in 2018, the opposition leader, who was then standing in for the MDC alliance, disputed the results in the Constitutional Court. Umning Gogwa is the rightful president of Zimbabwe, but Chamisa won't recognize him as such. There are eight additional candidates running for president. In an effort to win over voters, Umning Gogwa and Chamisa have traveled the whole length and breadth of Zimbabwe while drawing sizable crowds to their rallies. However, Umningogwa's ZANU PF has come under fire for allegedly busing supporters to rallies while luring them with food, beverages, and seed while boasting about its wealth. Yet, Zimbabweans have been drawn to Chamisa, and many observers claim that they choose to attend the rallies voluntarily.